All right, looks like we are live. Can you guys let me know if you can hear me all right? Just doing a quick 10 minute early check just to see if we're all good. Let me know, let me know. It's a little bit delayed with the comments and stuff, which is a bit of a bummer, but it's the way it rolls. All right, um, looks like we are live. Awesome, just make sure I mute that. All good, yeah, let me know. So we won't get into the, the Q&A until we hit about seven o'clock, just to make it fair. For everybody, um, I'll, well, feel free to ask a few questions here and there, but just don't go crazy, you know. Just be good, be good people. <laughs> no, you guys are awesome, I love you. Um, can you hear me? Awesome, good stuff. Right on, people. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Glad you guys can hear me. Um, let me just get the chat window up so I can see it properly. There we go, look at that. Awesome, loud and clear, that's what we want. All right, so tonight, we're gonna do a little bit of a giveaway. I'm gonna give away some, I'll let, I'll let you guys see when we get to it. Um, but yeah, and I'll tell you guys here you can enter the comp as well. Um, but yeah, there won't be any Q&As, it's just gonna be like a random sort of a thing, so be prepared for that. So the stream will go for about half an hour, and we'll kick it off officially at about 7 p.m., which is in like nine minutes or something like that, which is awesome. All right, people are rolling in, loving it. Going good. Reese, <laughs> pronounce it right, bro. <laughs> Almost called you rice again. Yo, what is up, people? Hey, Luke K. Anti087, hello. Yo, yo, yo. LED light in black background is flickering. Is anybody else getting flickering with the LED in the background? Tell me. I can't see it on the screen. Why is it purple? Ah, uh, because I'm a lady. Call me. What's wrong with the purple? You love it. Yo, good to see everyone. Michael Beatty, yo. Mouse of Doom, yes you can hear me, awesome man, Stephen can hear, Craig, yo mate, what up, what up mate, good to see ya, Jello7, boy, yeah, <laughs> Anthony, hey man, cool, right, I'm just scrolling through the comments, sorry, do a collab with Lawnporn, always up for collaborations if people are keen, if he's keen, why not, um, yeah, we'll do it in the comments, yo mate, what up, no it's not flickering, all right, no flicks. Cool, good to hear. How was the weather? Today was actually an awesome day. <laughs> That's a good question, man. Um, no, it was it was a good day. Um, it was about, when I say good day for Orange, it was good. So it was about 12 degrees for the top. The low was only two degrees, which was beautiful. It wasn't too cold, no frost, no wind. So it was nice, so we got a bit of sun today, a little bit sunburn, probably can't see it, but yeah. Awesome. What else are we saying? Not flickering, cool, I'm glad. Looks like I'm at a strop club. I think you meant strip club, bro. I mean, I've never been to a strip club, so. I, I didn't know that. Should I change it? We can make it a strobe in here if you want. A bit of a party. Yo, Tones 80. Yo, yo. <coughs> oh, wow. Yo. Mint Aussie Lawn, yo yo. Shout out to NZ Lawn Addicts, there we go, Chris Duggan, just did it for you mate. Um, we've got a Facebook page, go check it out if you're in NZ New Zealand. Happy with Liverpool winning the Premier League? Of course I am, man. Nah, I'm actually never, no, nah, so good. Got ya yeast bound. What does that even mean, bro? <laughs> also guys, go check out the Green and Gold Life on YouTube, he just commented up there. Go check him out. Green and Gold Life, another Aussie YouTuber that's doing some lawn stuff. He's doing some garden stuff as well. Legend of a guy. Go check out his channel. Um, put your channel link in there, man. Um, yeah, it'd be awesome. I just farted. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, bruh. Thanks for telling me. Having my own YouTube channel, I've got 100 subs and I'm 12. Awesome, man. Love it. Love it that you're starting at your age, man. Oasis Lawn and Landscape. That's cool, man. Go check it out if you like, guys. 100 subs, good stuff. I'll have to check it out afterwards too, man. Um, freezing in Tassie. What's the temps in Tassie? Has anyone got temperatures above 20 degrees today? If you do, you make me sick. Why would you do that to me? Above 20 degrees is like towards the end of spring for us if we got that. 
All right, so when we do start, because I'm, I'm not answering any questions yet, by the way, sorry guys. So if, you, if you've asked something, I probably won't see it. Because when we start do asking, when we do start asking questions, well, you'll have to at lawn tips me just so I can see it. It just sort of highlights on my live chat here so I can see those questions nice and clear. Um, instead of just like general discussion between people. Just to make it, you know, a little bit smoother. Jin Nak Naknamara. See you spell it? Say it. What up, Ben? Yo, bro. What's happening? Let's make sure we're all good. Right on, people. Where do we ask the question? All right, Christo. So once we hit 7 o'clock, I'll start doing questions, Q&As, and you just have to at lawn tips me so I can see it nice and clear. Michael, Beatty, dude, my wife wants a word with you. Since subscribing, I've spent way too much on the lawn. I also spend an unhealthy amount of time gazing out the window. <laughs> Relatable, bro. Every time I walk past the window, it's like, oh, grass looking good today. Looks a little bit green than it did yesterday. Anybody else do that? Every day, I say to the wife, and wife goes, oh, yeah, sweet. I don't get it. Wilson. Didn't I say Wilson? Wilson Whitmarsh? Oh, Wilson. Is Wilson. Yo, bro. Love you, Peter Pan. Love you back. Shortstown UK. Yo, Pamela. Awesome. Good to have you here. Is anyone else from out of Australia on here? <laughs> oh, Ivan, warmer Griffin Road. It wouldn't have been much warmer than here. <laughs> nice hat, random golf. Yeah, man. Love Eric Anders Lane. Thanks, Tony. Just shy of 0100 in Alaska. What's... Is that a degree? Shy of 100? Oh, there's at the time, 1 o'clock in the morning. What else is... 16 degrees in South Africa. Greetings from DK. Love your videos. Much better than Connor's. <laughs> Connor will love that. Connor's got good, you know, Connor's got an awesome personality, you guys know that. Connor's a ledge. I didn't see, what was Connor's start, Carl? I didn't see it. It's almost 2am. Commitment, bro. What a ledge. Woo! 20 degrees. Late today. You must be in the States if you're putting Fahrenheit there. Gold Coast was 23 degrees. What? What, mate? That's not fair. Not fair at all. Right, so remember, we'll do a giveaway. So this live stream's probably going to go for about, I will say about half an hour. Afterwards, I'm doing a little um, live stream as well for the members. You can become a member of the channel. Um, we do little exclusive live streams. Just It's just so that I can have a smaller group of people that can ask more questions, because sometimes these can become a little bit crazy, and I don't quite see all the questions. Um, so, yeah, that's why we do it. I'm doing the members one. And I add some extra posts in there for you guys. Have a discount for some merch. A couple of extra things in there if you guys um, support me. You don't have to do it. It's like, it's an option. Like, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. I've still got all the free videos on YouTube. Um, that's the way it rolls. <laughs> yeah, Secret Lab, that is the brand of this chair. I need it when you're sitting in the office doing emails. A lot of the time. Jack O'Brien, bro, props to your wife for the recent videography. Yeah, she did well me in with that edit. It's really good. Really good. <laughs> hey, big boy, it's your banter, bud. Jacko goes wacko for schmackos. <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> banter me up. Do it. Um, from Denmark. Awesome, Jacob. So good. Welcome to members' live streams. Jin, did you just become a member man? If you did, that's awesome. Thank you for becoming a member. Lawn tits for lot. Hey, I, I stop it. <laughs> you made me say it. I saw you, Jacko. I saw you, bro. Plug that stuff, son. What am I plugging? What am I plugging? Mm. The members live stream got you, bro. There is a button next to the subscribe button. Oh, that's for the members. Yeah, if you want to become a member. There is a button next to the... I'll show you. Ready? Ready, ready, ready? Ready? Check this out. You can hit join right there on the screen. Look at that. Hit join. Bada boom, bada bam. Thank you, ma'am. 
and you can become a member if you want. Don't have to though, it's just an option. Just thought I'd let you guys know about that. Um, let's go back to the office. Hmm. All right. All right, well, seven o'clock, so let's kick off this live stream. Hopefully some more people are coming in that I gave um, a head start on Facebook and Instagram that we're doing a live stream at 7 p.m. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Thanks so much for tuning in. No midweek video this week, sorry. I had quite a bit of rain here, and it's winter, so I'm struggling to get content at the moment. In all honesty, I don't want to just shoot myself mowing, um, you know, video myself mowing all the time. It just gets a little bit over the top sometimes. Um... I'd love to do some more in-depth stuff in the future, as in like going a bit more into the science behind lawn care and like how products work, etc, etc. I don't know if that would work well for a YouTube format though. I'm, I'm thinking about possibly doing a podcast format. We'll see how things roll. Excuse me. Um, is that, someone said the LED light's flickering again. I don't think it is. So, in about a minute, we'll start doing questions, all right? Just going to let everybody roll in for the first minute or two. And in about 15, 20 minutes, we'll do the giveaway as well. So, we're going to be giving away a couple of things. Um, so, Toro was kind enough to send me a couple of hats. So, we'll do a couple of separate giveaways. So, I'll give away some of Toro, these hats here from Toro. Pretty nice, actually. Kind of want to keep them for myself. Um, these hats here, I did keep one black one for myself. They sent me four hats, which is crazy. I don't even know why they sent them to me, because I've got no affiliations with Toro at all. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. They sent me... Oh, save myself a drink bottle. But we've got another drink bottle here, so we'll do that in the giveaway as well. Um, what else did they send me? They sent me some gloves. Someone can have those. We'll do like we'll probably do three separate giveaways, so three separate like merch packs, which I'll include one of my beanies as well, and maybe a hat. A lawn tips hat as well. We'll see how we roll with that. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. We've got anything else? Let's see what else they gave me. They gave me this little lunchbox thing, which I'm going to keep. Put some beers in. Safety glasses. I might save a pair of those for my dad because my dad is always losing safety glasses. Shout out to dad. Um, I've got another pair there as well, which just have tire branding on them. Exciting stuff. And they've got, I've got a pen, tire pen. I really don't know why they sent me this stuff, but I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. It's cool getting stuff like this. Um, there's no mowers coming up or anything. And I paid for that, um, that greens mask that I've got with my own money as well. I got a second hand from one of the Toro reps that I used to speak to when I was working on the golf course. Um, they sent like little earbuds. I'll add them to one of the packs as well. They sent me two of those. Yeah, that's about it. That is about it. So we'll do that giveaway a little bit later. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do it through the comments on the video. So if you guys leave a comment um, on the video itself, not in the live stream comments here, you can enter this competition here. So I'll do a random comment picker basically. That's the way it's gonna roll. So make sure you comment on this live video itself, not in the live chat, but in the comment section, and then I can pick yourself pick you in the, the comment section. So where I'm talking about is just here. So if you guys leave a comment just there, add a public comment, not over here, over here. That's what you gotta do. Cool. Um, let's get this back. I scabbed all the good stuff. I did actually. Jacko, I scabbed all the great stuff. They gave me a nice big um, winter jacket as well, which, <laughs> no. I got a black hat. Guys, I'm giving you you guys the better hats out of all these. They gave me a plain black hat. Plain black with just the Toro logo, so we're giving the good boys away. Anyway, all good. Plus, I'm not having Danny gave me one set of gloves, so have some gloves. If you want gloves, if you don't, all G. Alrighty. Um let's just make sure. Alright, so let's start doing some questions. So I'll quickly just run through what we've got here, sorry, on the comment window. Make sure I haven't missed anything. Funny looking beer. No, I'm going to put my beers in there, man. I'm not going to, anyway. Can I have a shout out, please? Raphael. Shared, yeah. There it is. <laughs> Tell me, why do people love shout outs? I guess you get your name out there. Anyone watching Connor Ward or did he die? We all missed. No, Connor Ward's still doing videos. Um, Grouse Whipper. 
Huh, Jack. Yeah, how good are the um, members emojis? They're pretty cool, eh? I got, um, someone made them for me. On, um, I used, um, some online service to get those made. It's pretty cool. Um, all right, any more questions? What else we got here? Sorry, I've got to get the window back up over here. All right. Yo, 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 Stuart Glatz. What up, bro? Camden, Garden Solutions. Clinton, good to see you, man. Good to see ya. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm not gonna miss all this stuff. Um, all right, so we're gonna start doing questions from now. So if you guys want me to answer one of your questions for the next, let's say the next 10 to 15 minutes, we'll see how it goes. Um, please at Lawn Tips Me. If you do not at Lawn Tips Me, I'm not gonna see it amongst all the other comments, sorry. So make sure you at Lawn Tips Me. Um, cool, that'd be awesome. And then we roll it in. Um, and I'll try to keep up. If I miss it, please type it again. Um, oh, is there really no comments on the live stream? Please tell me there is. Please, please, please. Let me see if I can do it. Yo. Let's see. Sorry, before we start that, I just want to make sure the comments are working so this live stream works. Yo. Is this working? My typing's not good today. Is this working? Right, let's comment. Well, I was able to comment. Let's see if you guys can comment. Oh, beautiful. What a shot. <laughs> Refresh that. It looks like I can comment there. So can you guys see if you can comment over on that section there? Please let me know. If you can't, that's a pain in the butt. And I'll figure out something else, which is frustrating. I wonder what I'll have to do. All right, anyway, let's start answering some, qu some questions and I'll see someone at Lawn Tips Me if you cannot comment on there. I need to know. All right. <clears throat> now we're starting it. First question. Okay, Stuart Glatz. Oh, please stop jumping comments. I can't read them. Coming up on springtime after... What? I'm coming up to springtime. After a call, I've never sanded over. Should I? You can, man, you can sand for sure. Just make sure that you core aerate first. If you're going to do it without coring, sometimes it can, st can start to create layers in your lawn, so make sure you core aerate, but you can definitely use sand for leveling. That is fine. Awesome. Um, Jacko goes, work out for smackers. What's your thought on a 24-inch um, Alro cylinder mower? Just got one. They're pretty good mowers, man. Um, I've heard a few guys love them. Good weight to them as well especially at 24 inch, they're quite heavy things. The only thing I've struggled with with those mowers is, well, I haven't personally had one, but I was in the market for one ages ago, um, is finding spare parts, which is why I never bought one. But from what I've heard, a couple of guys that chat to me through the emails and stuff, um, they've, they've got them and they, they do rate them. So it'd be a good mower. It just depends on if you can find spare parts. I'm sure you could always get a machinist to make some parts up and bearings and stuff for the rollers if you needed. Um, we'll find someone to custom make some stuff. But yeah, I think it's just the reason Scott Bonner is so popular, um, the 45s, is because they're so easy to get sp spare parts for. And there's quite a few guys now, like SB Fabrication of Parts. Um, oh, there's heaps of other guys that are doing. What are the names of everyone? Cameron. Cameron. can't remember his name. A couple of guys that make parts for him anyway. Um, are you ever going to show us how to maintain a veggie patch? You know it, that wouldn't go down well because I suck with plants and veggies. Well, to be honest, I haven't really made an effort on them, which I need to. But, you know, maybe I can learn some stuff, start watching some other guys on YouTube and get some tips and do it. Uh, there's no comment section. Is that for real? Let me just refresh it again and see. Oh, I haven't flicked it off that screen. Sorry, guys. Um, really? Is there none? No comments. Oh, bummer. Bum, 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 bum. Let me see if I can change the settings on that, sorry. For you right now, let's see. Is there really no comments? That's frustrating. Mm. Mm. We'll have to do the live stream a different way. That's right. I might just have to do some... Questions, which is a pain in the bum. That's all right. 
We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out once we get there. All right, more questions. I have a two-year-old Tiff Tuff lawn. It is completely dormant, which is unusual for my, loca my location. Are the cooch lawns still of color? Okay, Thomas M. That's interesting, man. Um, I would love to see some photos of that. Um, and let me know where you live. Do you want to send me an email at bensims at lawntips.net? And I will have a squeeze for you, man. I'll have a squeeze. Um, yeah. Because I want to see what that is. That sounds funny. Um, first time watcher from Kendra in Brisbane, Australia, Daniel. Cool, man. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You are a ledge. Um, really appreciate it, guys. Cannot talk, comment from tablet option. Okay, that's a bummer. That's all right. We'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. We'll do something afterwards. Um, sorry, guys. I feel like I'm not keeping up with the questions. How do you control Paspalum in Buffalo Lawn, Central Queensland? Uh, I don't think Paspalum kills kill works in Buffalo. Let's have a look, eh? All right, so let's get on the old Google. See, this is what I do if I don't know something, guys. Get on Google. Paspalum. The bandit on my finger and I can't type. Killer bunnings. All right, until I click this all the time. Pass pale. Look the purpose side. So it doesn't look like it has listed on here if you can use it on Buffalo. I've got a feeling, I can't remember, I haven't used it in so long that you can't use DSMA, which is the active in this product. This pass pale kill from Bunnings. I'm pretty sure you cannot use it in Buffalo. You see the active is DSMA and MCPA. So yeah, you're not gonna be able to use that in Buffalo. Um so Bass Palm's a hard one. Um, I'm actually not sure how you're going to get rid of it, to be honest. Hand paint it with Roundup. Like, get one of those Yates brushes um, and do that. Yates. Yates. Oh, not brush. Ready? One of these weeding brushes just here. I've used one so many times. These things are awesome. Just put some Roundup in there. You can do the full concentrate. And Bob's your uncle. You can use it like that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not sure if there's any selectives. I cannot remember. I'm pretty sure there's not, though. I haven't looked at that for a while. Um, okay. I'm still bummed about this comm. It's not working. All right. Aiden, Mackie. Um, I installed a cooch lawn in this part on top of a hill that's shaded and for some reason really thin. One area compared to the rest of the lawn. So the thing is, man, shaded lawns, um, your lawn needs sunlight to get nice and thick and grow. So that's the process of photosynthesis. So in winter, you're always gonna have a lot more shade in areas like up against houses, up against fences. So winter times where your real problems are really gonna start showing. So if it looks bad in winter, don't stress too much. If it's looking bad in spring and summer, that's when I'd be looking at putting a garden bed in that area because you're not gonna grow grass there if there's less than like four to five hours of sun per day. It's just the way it works with grass. Even Grass types like buffalo and that still need a couple of hours of sun a day to be nice and lush and healthy. You can still grow the grass there, but it's gonna be quite thin and spindly looking. Even up along um, my side of my house where that gate is where I walk through to the front, um, the ryegrass there is a lot thinner than it is at the front and the back where there's full sun because it is shaded for the majority of the day. Um, mm, cool, hope that answers your question, man. Would you use a verticutter when would you use a verticutter versus a scarifier? All right, so a scarifier is gonna be a little bit more aggressive than a verticutter. So a scarifier is gonna go more down into soil layer and actually pull a lot more underground thatch out. The blades are a little bit wider apart. When it comes to a verticutter, normally they've got a, quite a few more blades in there a bit closer together. And it's still gonna tear out some below gr ground thatch, not as much though, and a lot more above ground thatch. Um, then when it comes to grooming, Grooming is another thing altogether. It's an even like thinner gaps between the blades and you're basically pulling out just above ground thatch, nicking into the nodes of your grass, which is then creating points for your grass to spread and grow out from there. So that's when I'd use each and each different one there. Um, hopefully that made sense. Um, what happened to your email and these newsletter? All right, I, the, <laughs> so I have a newsletter on my website, good question, man, um, which I was doing weekly, no, every fortnight, sorry. Um, during the growing season. Um, I haven't been doing it at the moment just because I've actually been taking a little bit of a break from everything. Um, I, I'd overworked myself a little bit last season 
and was just getting a little bit worn out. So I just I made I just stepped back a little bit over winter, just taking a little bit of a break. I'm playing golf a lot <laughs> at the moment. Um, still shooting the videos, still doing all the emails. Like I've still got a busy schedule, but I'm just not overdoing it too much. Sort of getting like the like work life balance a little bit more balanced out. So come springtime, I'm going to try to start that up again. I'll probably start it again with a monthly blog with the newsletter and we'll see how we go from there. Might get a couple of guys to write blogs in there as well um, that are from the industry if they're keen. Might get my brother who is the super, oh, that's if you want to Josh, <laughs> um, at the golf course in town maybe to do a blog. I don't know, we get some different people in there on the newsletter but yeah, still going to be doing it, just taking a step back at the moment, just enjoying the slowdown in the season to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'll get back into it soon. Um, when am I coming to NZ? Once um, the borders open up, Adam. <laughs> I'd love to come fishing, man. New Zealand fishing is like the bomb. Gonna get some Kong Fosh, some Kong Fosh and some Snipper. What's that Kiwi TV show that used to always be on? The fishing show, I used to love that. Um, Michael Zink, love the channel. Thanks, bro. With a question mark, love the channel? No, I think that was an accident. What are your plans for the next six months and over summer? Anything you can share with us. All right, so next six months, um, I have secured one project lawn um, here in town. The guy has a bore, so he's got a good water source, um, and he has got a huge lawn. It'd be like, it might be close to an acre, and he's gonna get himself a ride on mower. Well, he has got a ride on mower. So we're gonna be doing some videos at his, his house, getting rid of a lot of weeds. He's got a bit of cape weed and um, clover at the moment. I actually saw him today at golf. Clint, if you're out there, yo. Um, yeah, going to do a project lawn at Clint's house. He's got some Kentucky bluegrass. Um, I'm going to try and find a buffalo lawn in town as well. Going to go across to Matt's lawn across the road, if we get enough rainfall, and keep up content on Matt's lawn. So we're not going to just be doing videos at my house. My, my house will be the videos in between. And I'm going to be trying to focus more on other lawns as well. Identifying weeds for you guys, hopefully showing you guys the difference between um, grass types and how to treat them. Yeah, that's the plan. Um, as I said, I'd love to do traveling sometime in the future, going to people's houses and helping with their lawns and stuff. Whether we start off just doing some video calls and then I go and help do a reno or something like that, just for the fun of it. Um, but that won't be happening for a while, probably because of COVID. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, but yeah, and I've got a young family as well, so we, I won't go too nuts with traveling until the kids grow up a bit more. You know, just got to spend some time with the young kids while I can. Um, all right, remember you got to make sure you at lawn tips me if you want me to see your question. All right. Oh man, I'm gonna miss some questions. There's so many questions. That's all right. We'll do another live stream another week. All right, Thomas Whitaker. Hey mate, I'm moving into my own place soon and the yard is basically going to be a blank canvas. Ooh, love it. Go do whatever you want, bro. I'm considering either going Kaiku Lawn or Zoysia. Do you have pros and cons of both? So it comes down to personal preference and sort of how you're going to be working on the lawn, if you have pets or not, etc. So if you have pets, go Kaiku, because Zoysia is a very slow growing grass. Um, so, you know, it doesn't tend to battle out too well with um, pets, um, just because it takes long to come back. And so Rodney Caden, did you tell me that you have Zoysia, Empire Zoysia, and your dogs wee on it, and it just smashes them? So yeah, that's what, what if you have dogs, don't go Zoysia, go the Kaikuyu. Now, if it was me, since I don't have pets, I'd go the Zoysia, um, just because it's got a nice thin leaf blade, stripes up pretty nicely, um, slow growing, but you can get it nice and low as well because of that thinner leaf blade, so you can get it down. If you get one of the varieties or the cultivars, they can get nice and low like golf greens. Like you can go nuts with that stuff and it looks pure. It looks really, really good. Um, slow growing, but I mean, if you're cutting really low, you're still gonna have to keep up regular mowing, which is awesome as well. Now, Kaiku, you can get, Kaiku, you, ka ka <laughs> you can get down, I've seen people get it down to seven mil. Um, I went to East Lakes the other week, with Nathan Bradbury, legend. Um, went to his golf course and they had their fairways down at I think they were sitting at 14 mil when we went there. It's 14 mil and you have them at 11 in summer or do you have them at nine in summer? Anyway, but you can get it nice and low. But you gotta keep up with plant growth regulator if you wanna be cutting Kaikuyu down at that height. Um, so yeah, really depends, man. Um, 
I'd go check the turf out, see what you like the texture of, the feel of. Um, but if you're not, you don't have pets and it was me, I would go Zoysia. Um, don't know how to pronounce your name. It looks like it's Jim something. <clears throat> how many times per year do you air rate? Um, I only do it once here um, because there's not that much traffic. Like if I was on the golf course, you do it a couple of times a year to relieve compaction and to get some sand down into the profile just to harden it up. Um, but... If it's a home lawn, you can get away with once a year. You could get away with it once every two years, but I did try not doing it for one whole season once here, and me and my soil was hydrophobic. It struggled because of the Australian heat during summer. It tends to make our lawns quite hard um, and repel water a bit, which you can amend with wetting agents, but nothing will beat aeration. Like, seriously, it's so good. Ryan Mills, looking to buy my first real mile second hand as a starter. What would be a good make model to start with? If you can find a Scott Bonner 45 or a Rover 45 man, like a 17 inch one or a 14 inch, depends on how big your yard is, I would 100% go that way, man. Second hand, it's just hard to find them these days because everyone's so keen on them and everyone snatches them up. Um, and then people also redo them, which is awesome. Uh, I almost said renovate them. No, they. Rest, restore them. Um, yeah, so a Scott Bonner 45 or a Rover 45 because they've got heap, there's heaps of spare parts. You can buy them still, the spare parts, and people are always selling them. Um, that would be the way to go, man. Um, how much are you looking at paying? The market's always fluctuating with them. Um, tell you what, if it was me, I wouldn't be paying any more than 700 bucks if you get a decent one that's running because they're old mowers. Like, if you're paying a thousand bucks for a second hand mower, it's just not, it's not, it's not great. Oh, someone chucked a super chat. Tommy T, thanks man. Really appreciate the super chat. Um, I have Sandy Soil. What would you recommend? Thanks for the vids. You have Sandy Soil. So recommend, in what, what form? Sorry, bro. Um, do you mean like, what turf would I recommend? How what would I recommend top dressing? What would I recommend to keep water in it? Um, Sandy Soil, so. Sandy soil is one of those um, soils that you do need to... This is very tricky. I need to know what your question is, man. Sorry. It's very broad. What would I recommend? Um, shoot me another question, Tommy, and I'll make sure I keep an eye out for it. Because um, you've... You're a legend. You've paid me some money, which you didn't have to do. I appreciate that. Um, I'll scroll... Top the comment again, um, Tommy, and I will keep an eye out for it. Um... Ah, Michael Beatty. I did go fishing actually about a month ago. Loved it. So good. Uh, my cooch grass looks feral during winter. Should I overseed it? So, cooch, if you're in a cool season climate, yep, that's what I'm trying to say. Somewhere like Melbourne, Adelaide, Central West, like where I am, um, it'll tend to go brown because of good old winter. Um, so, you can either let it go, just let it do its thing, because it's just gone hibernation, or you can over sow like you do on the green out the front. So, my green out the front, which is the Tiff Tough, is um, Cooch. So, I over, over sow with the, that with ryegrass for the winter, just for some winter colour, and so I can keep mowing it through the winter. Um, now, I'm going to spray that out come springtime, just so the Cooch has the best chance to come back um, and not let the rye sort of choke it out. Because rye actually has a chemical in it called endophyte, which will actually fight out endophytes, which will actually fight out um, the cooch grass and stop it from coming back properly um, out of dormancy in spring. So I'm going to need to spray it out, for me here, probably first, second week of September, just to give the cooch, the tiff stuff, a head start with some monument is what I'm going to be spraying it with, which I've got some monument out in the shed, which monument's actually out of stock in Australia at the moment. Um, ooh, rate the swarming out of 10. I've only used it once, man. It's a hard one. I've used it once, I would say, out of 10. Okay, so it's not very heavy, so it loses points for that. Um, great cut quality though, so that's a positive. Um, the battery side of it is awesome. The only thing is you can't swap out the battery, so that's one negative, but hey. They're starting there, you know what I mean? Like, it's awesome what they're doing. So if I was to rate out 10, compared to all the other mowers I've used and at, for a home owner mower, and because of the cost of it too, it's a little bit high, so I'd put that as a, I wouldn't say it's a con, it's just it's expensive. Um, I'd probably give it a 7.5 out of 10. Good mower, great cut, quite cut quality. 
Um, I'm loving that mower at the moment, so it's really good. See, if I was to compare like a Rover 45 to that, like what I'd give it out of 10, I'd give it an 8. There you go. Oh, actually, I'd probably give it a 7.5. I'd probably give it pretty similar because that thing is old. It's actually lighter than the sword when mine is. Um, and mine struggles to cut these days, but I do need to get it back lapped. Anyway, very similar. I That's a hard one, man. I haven't used it enough to answer that question. <laughs> but there you go. That's what I think of it. I think it's pretty good. Um, I hope that answers your question. If you have any more questions about that too, bro, email me. Mitchell Gibbs. Hey, Ben. Huge fan of the channel. As a former greenkeeper myself, absolutely watch loving you. Absolutely love watching your videos. Thanks, Mitchell. You're a ledge. Thanks, man, for sending that too. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome for sending these super chats. You don't have to do it, but you did. Appreciate it. Hey, Aiden Mackey. Guys, make sure you buy his merch or lawn products. Man, you're a ledge. Look at yours. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, now, Tim, where was your question, man? I'm going to find it because you paid some wool. Tim, where you at? Tim, where you at? Tim, where you at? Tim, Tommy T. Tommy T. Ah, do you see your turf? <laughs> Come on, big fella. Bro, I didn't know. <laughs> so, you, so you're putting down, what should you put down in sand your soil, see your turf? So <laughs> I need to know where you live, bro. <laughs> um, man, sand your soil. You can do either, man. Whatever you want to do. If it was me, and if I had the budget, I would do turf just because it's quicker and easier, especially with sandy soil. Like getting seed to come up in sandy soil is hard. It's a lot more of a battle than it is in, say, like clay soil um, or like a sand, like a more loamy soil because you're not going to hold as much moisture in that soil profile there. So, I mean, I'd probably go turf, turf type or seed type, whatever, um, in sandy soil. I mean, you can do it if you like. If it was me, I'd probably go zoysia or cooch. Um, have a look at all the different cooch types if you want to do cooch. The reason I would do that only is because I like cutting nice and low. Now, it depends on your personal preference. Like, if you want to be cutting low, you want to be cutting tall, how fast do you want your grass to be growing? Do you want it to be aggressive? Do you want it to be slow growing? Um, yeah, there's so many questions around that. Um, either in Victoria. All right, cool. That's good to know. Um, if I was in Victoria, and I was going to put down turf, if you want it green all year round, and you're not cutting short, tall fescue. If you are cutting short, if you can, man, I would go Kentucky bluegrass. Whew. Love Kentucky bluegrass. You could go cooch as well. It's just going to go. It's going to go very slow in winter and possibly go dormant. Same as zoysia. Same as buffalo. Same as kikuyu as well. Um, so yeah, maybe look at a cool season variety. It depends on what your max temps are in summer. If you're hitting above 35 degrees, then I'd be looking at a warm season grass like cooch. Kaikuyu, Buffalo, or Zoysia. Um, if you're not getting much higher than that, man, go for something like, go some, you can go some ryegrass like what I've got if you like. Just be aware, a lot of guys have tried ryegrass in the past. You have to know that it requires water um, or at least products to help amend with that water. So you've got to use wetting agents. You need to use stuff like humic, humic acid. You need to really be on the ball with it. Um, like you need to be hand watering spots when hot spots come up. And you need to also make sure that you. I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> Have an eye on it nearly every two or three days, you know what I mean? Because if it goes blue and goes brown, it's not coming back. It's dead. You have to overseed. So that's the thing with ryegrass. All right, looks like we're going to do a giveaway now. Um, sorry, I'll get back to some questions afterwards because time went so quick, man. They go so quick. All right, how are we going to do this? First giveaway. We're going to give away this Tara hat. Um, with oh how exciting with some safety glasses <laughs> and I'll give away a lawn tips beanie with that as well so you get a lawn tips beanie so turn to the comp let's just see if we've got any comments coming up on here I don't think the comments are working though nope that's a bum bum alright oh, how are we going to do this what question can I ask? So yeah, that hat. I'm gonna make a sure I put. I'm gonna get a note. Um, where is my notepad? So I remember who won. Will I attempt to grow a beard again? <laughs> I started growing one the other day, and I looked at myself in the mirror, and I went, "No, nah, mate, 
getting rid of that. It's disgusting. All right, let's do the gray Toro hat. Gray Toro with the glasses. First giveaway. So we're gonna do a little question. Um, so, first, sick notepad, guess what? It's actually a, <laughs> it's an espresso one. Do you know, remember that um, coffee brand espresso? Yeah. Anyway, um, they gave it to me for some reason. And it's got nothing to do with lawn tips. I got it before I did lawn tips. Um, gray hat and the glasses and the lawn tips beanie. Plus beanie. And I'll give you some stickers as well. Alright, um, all right. so first question. What's the question? Um, what? Um, man, now I'm thinking of a question. Here we go. How many years was I working at the golf course? Now, I said to someone today I've been a greenkeeper for 10 years. I wasn't working at the golf course for 10 years, I was rounding up. How many years have I been? First one to answer it too. So how many years was I working on the golf course? How many years was I walking on there? Working, walking. E equals MC squared. Correct. Eight. Whoa, Tony, you got that quick, boy. Eight years. Tony won that. All right, Tony. Whoa, you guys are quick. That was so cool. <laughs> All right, you can stop now. Josh, get out of it. You're not getting a free ad. <laughs> Of course you know. Um, okay, so who won it was, where are we? I'm scrolling up to his name, eight. Let's make sure it was Tony. Tony, did you win it, boy? Oh my gosh, where is it? Tony Chiles. So, Chili's, Chili's. Shoot me an email, Ben Sims, so I'll write down below, because it's S-I-M-S, -S, not double M. Insims at lawntips.net. Shoot me an email, man. Send me your address. You have won the first prize pack. All right. Never actually worked a day there. Shut up, Kev. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> yeah, I just um, <laughs> got no comment. All right. Lawn Tips, ask who the EPL champions are. Mate, how'd you not know? Liverpool. Come on, bro. All right. Congrats, Tony. Legend. All right, next question. Next question. So these are all going to be ones that people shouldn't know. So anybody can get this. Uh, no, I can't say that one. Yeah, the stream is behind. I'm not sure why. Well, maybe... Oh, you stream for the question, for the typing answer. Just maybe refresh your thing. Me and my uncle are huge fans. Thanks, bruh. Appreciate it. Um, mm, what's another question? Emma, do you have any questions for the live stream? Gee, I can hear her listening to me on the phone. Wifey. Emma Sims. Who owned that? Feeling nervous. <laughs> okay, well we'll figure out what the next prize pack is first. So we're gonna do this grey hat. No. Oh, I like this one. Now what? You don't have a question. I don't have a question. Oh. Um, this one we're gonna do. We're gonna do a pen. This weird earbud things, and also on a lawn tips beanie. Right. Hopefully Tony sent me that email. Um, so grey and white hat. Grey white. What's the question? Pen. Earplugs. Make sure you use them, people. Earplugs are important. Um, and a beanie as well. Love a giveaway. Wish I'd give more stuff away. Might do some merch giveaways another time in the video. Right, that's the next prize pack. Oh, there's some stickers, of course, as well. Whoa! Just before we do that, Paul from NZ asked a question. Um, Timmy as well, if I don't answer your question, please send me an email, man, and I'll get back to you on that question about what turf to go with this sandy soil. Is it Timmy or Tommy? 
bruh, I forget. All right. I'm based in Auckland. Definitely need to put down some weed control over the coming season. Any advice on right times to do a post and a pre-emergent? I'm hoping to top dress and see in September too. Have a combo of Ryan Fescue. All right, so if you're putting down some seed, you cannot do pre-emergent until like dead set six months after you've put that seed down, only because you'll actually um, start to damage that. Oh man, I'm struggling to speak tonight. <laughs> It's going to do some damage to your new grass. You're just going to make sure your lawn is established before you put down a pre-emergent because the barrier is going to sit in the top. It depends on what product you use, but let's just say the top 30 mil of your soil. That's where your roots are sitting and that's where your lawn is getting all your nutrients from and your water. So if you put pre-emergent down when your root system isn't past that because it's not established, your lawn's going to get damaged. So I wouldn't put anything down until about, I'd say, but to be safe, six months afterwards, you can dig down and see if your root system is past 30 mil, and you'll be sweet. Um, but yeah, I'd go with that. You can't get tenacity in Australia, man, which is a bummer. Or in, can you get, if you can get tenacity in New Zealand, which I'm not sure if you can, you can put that down. It's a pre-emergent when you seed, and it won't damage your seed if you can get tenacity in New Zealand. Um, and as for a post-emergent, you can put it down beforehand. Just make sure you do it two weeks before. After you've seeded, just make sure you give your lawn at least four... Um, I'd say six to eight mows before you put any um, post-emergent herbicides down, any selectives. Um, and if you like, do it at half dose because you should have pretty, like, not very mature weeds there, so it should knock it them pretty easily. Um, N-S-J-T-A. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Th really appreciate you guys doing these super chats too. you legends. How much do you enjoy Connor's videos? Aaron in Airport West slash Melbourne. Aaron in Airport West. Is that like a place, Airport West? Um, how much do I enjoy Connor's videos? Man, I love Connor's videos. I love that dude's sense of humor. Um, really cool guy too. When I met him in the States last year, really relaxed guy. You wouldn't believe that he's an introvert um, <laughs> with the way he's in videos, but yeah. Oh, introvert in a sense that he gets worn out when he hangs around people, but nicest dude. Next question. What was your wife's worst chore as a kid? What? Oh, that's actually not a bad one. <laughs> All right, let's do that. All right, answer this question, guys. It is a place, okay. Um, what was my wife's worst chore as a kid? This is an exciting one. All right, ready, set, go. First person to get it. First person to get it. Oh, give me. Oh, the lawn. Flip. That was quick. First answer. Garth's world. Garth. Garth is the winner of that one. That was a good one. Thanks, babe. Gas World is the winner of that one. Um, the dishes, yeah, that was my least favourite thing to do, man. Baking. Is that a chore? <laughs> Sorry, guys, it was mowing the lawn. That's why I started lawn tips. No. Um, all right, so Garth. Garth World, please send me an email at bensims at lawntips.net. If you don't hear from me tomorrow... Please send another email because you might have got my email address wrong. If you, otherwise, you can go you can go through lawntips.net, my website, and just go through the contact form there. That's another way you can do it as well. Poor Emma, she's the one that asked me to do that question, Eugene. <laughs> bet she's glad she met you then. Yeah, I bet you. That's all she married me for, because I'm by the grass. All right, one more. Let's do one more giveaway. So the last giveaway. Let's do a fourth giveaway. Let's do it. All right, so next one. This tire hat here. I like this one. This looks nice. Ben locked the door. Ember's watching the stream. Yes, she is. <laughs> All right, this one here. We're going to do the drink bottle as well. Toro drink bottle. It's pretty good, eh? Um, and then some more of those earplugs. Um, let's write this down. Otherwise, I'll forget. So... The trucky hat, trucker, drink bottle, and earplugs. Plus, I will throw in a lawn tips hat, lawn tea hat, colour of your choice when you email me. Alright. Actually, I've got one more question at the end too as well. I've got one for the next one. Oh, this is this one. 
What am I saying? All right, this question, you ready? Are you ready for this? Um, what brand was my first ever lawnmower that I purchased with my own money? What brand? Answer me. And it was a radio mower as well, just for a hint. Rover. Bang. Toro. Bang. Rover. Bang. Bang. Toro. No. 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 Oh my gosh. No. We've gone too fast. Victor. Rover. No. No. Not Protea. No. Toro. No. Scott Bonner. No. Honda. No. Victor. All right. Shane Flello. You're the winner. I'll just double check you are because I might be wrong. It looks like you're the winner. I'm surprised. Everyone gets the mass port when they first start, don't they? <laughs> Victor. Victor was close, but it was a mass port. I remember I got it for 350 bucks, mulch and the old mulch and catch. And yeah, it broke. Well, actually, I gave it to my little brother and he broke it. Broke the crankshaft in it. I don't know what he hit. Um, all right. What name was it again? Flip. I cannot lose that. Where is it? No, I lost it. Who won? Who won? Sorry guys, sorry for this. Um, and we'll do one more giveaway after this, as I said. Hmm, I can't find it. I sound like a little kid having a whinge. Can't find it, mum. Stuart Signs, is that who it was? Stuart? Stuart. 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 No, no. I don't think it was. No. No, it wasn't Stuart. Hold up. Sorry, guys. Victor Rover SB. Victor. Massport. Aaron Wells. It was Aaron Wells. Is that who I said, guys, at the start? What? Aaron, you're saying it was Craig. I think it was you, Aaron. <laughs> Pretty sure it was Aaron Wells. Michael Pratt, wasn't it? Um, I don't think it was Michael. First person to say Massport. It looks like it was Aaron Wells. Sorry, guys. With all you guys commenting the answer, it just went flying past. It keeps, like, resetting on me. Aaron. Did Aaron win? Shane. Miss M. Pratt. Michael R, you have not missed the whole show. There's one giveaway at the end, luckily, bro. Uh, Rover, Toro, Rover, Rover, Toro, Toro, Rover. Sorry, guys. I'm pretty sure it's Aaron Wells. Let's confirm it. Let's confirm it. Let's confirm it. Let's confirm it. Yep, Aaron. Aaron's the winner. All right, man. Good job. Aaron Wells. All right, shoot me an email, man. Ben Sims at LawnTips.net to claim your prize. Aaron Wells. And I'll try to get these shipped out. In the next couple of days. Um, my wife has just packed up all the merch orders for this week and I think we'll wait till next shipment. Because <laughs> there's heaps. No, it was Aaron Wells, guys. Sorry, Michael, it wasn't you, it was Aaron. It was definitely Aaron Wells. Emma, it was Aaron, wasn't it? Emma! It was Karen. Oh, stop it. Sorry, Shane. I would have would have scared you for a second then. <laughs> Babe, M. It was Aaron. Oh, okay, right. We're gonna do one more, and then I'll ask a couple more questions. And then we're gonna flick across to the members live stream, which is supposed to be in like ten minutes. Right. One more giveaway. So, the final one. We're gonna do. Yeah, I double checked it. I commented. Yeah. It was Aaron Wells. I commented in the um. Yeah. Cool, there you go. Yeah. It's Aaron Wells. So we're going to do a... Last but not least, we'll do a Lawn Tips hoodie. Um, hopefully you guys have seen them. Um, lawn Tips hoodie. Ooh. Um, so you're going to get a Lawn Tips hoodie and you'll get some Toro gloves as well. Just for the fun of it. What a prize. What a prize. <laughs> um, so, last but not least, let's get it. Um... 
Just moan lawn lever. Yeah, she is. <laughs> I do have a chat, mo chat moderator. Come on, Harry. Did you see who won? Are you on here still, Harry? Probably not. I haven't seen him comment for a while. All right. Um, all right. So, lawn tips hoodie and some Toro gloves. That's going to be the prize. Not a bad prize. Hopefully, you guys enjoy that. Hopefully, you're not in Queensland and you can, <laughs> you can wear a hoodie. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. <clears throat> so, question. Last question is... This is a funny one. Maybe this one. All right. Where my bum, my my bum, my mum bought me my first whipper snipper, weed whacker, line trimmer. Where did she buy it from? Go. Okay. This is a hard one. Premier Lawns. Yo, bro. What's going on, man? Good to see ya. Where did she get my whip snipper from? Where did my mum buy my whip snipper from? Bunnings, Bwah. Bunnings, boop, no, not Bunnings, everyone's saying Bunnings, orange. Oh, you know oh, someone got it. It was Aldi. All right, you can all stop. Let's see who got it. And it lasted one mo, believe it or not. Right, Bunnings, Bunnings, who won? We're just gonna double check. I think only one person, come. Chris Prince, legend, you got yourself a hoodie. If you've really got a hoodie, man, I don't know if you do, um, we can give you something else. It's alright, I'll give you a shirt or something. Yeah, she got it from Aldi. <laughs> she really did. It was a piece of crap. <laughs> it, I, I had a really small backyard. It would have been like 10 square metres, and I whipper snipped the whole thing, and I broke it. So it didn't last long. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> hoodie for... Oh, who was it? Who won? I forget the name already. Ben Sims. Use your brain. Big W. Can you get whip snippers from Big W? It's Chris Prince, wasn't it? The name rings a bell. Josh, you can't win stuff. Oh, you want a hoodie, don't you? Because you haven't got one yet. That's because I whip a snip the entire yard. Yes, that is exactly what I did. <laughs> to break. All right, Chris Prince, shoot me an email, man. Ben Sims at lawntips.net. And you are going to get yourself a hoodie and those gloves as well. Hoodie and gloves. Right. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed that giveaway. I'll try to do one again. If you got any companies out there watching this, which I doubt you are, but if you are and you want to give me some stuff for giveaways, send me some stuff. Shoot me an email and I can give you an address to send it to. Um, but yeah, what's Emma writing in here? What's she revealing? Um, I'll chuck some sticks in for sure, man. Definitely will, Chris. Um, and sign it. I can, what am I signing? The hoodie or the... Shoot me an email. Let me know you want. What do you want me to sign? <laughs> Hugs and kisses. Everyone will get stickers part of that as a part of that. All right, we'll do another giveaway in the future. But yeah, if you guys do any give um any companies on here, feel free to send me some stuff to give away, and I won't keep anything. Max Rowling, I'm ripping up the kike F plus B and line tiff tough as we're raising the yard levels. Should I glyphe the new area to stop potential regrowth? We put a new topsoil down prior to laying. Ooh, my man. <laughs> um, so, kaiku is a hard one, man. Um, ooh, what a spat. Nice. Um, kaiku is a hard one because the root system can get ridiculously deep. I've seen guys round up it five times and it's still come back. So, man, I would honestly get a turf cut and rip that stuff out or a bobcat or something because it's going to come up in your turf. Like, it seriously is. Um, I would dig down 50 to 100 mil if you can. Um, I know that's a pain in the bum. Um, otherwise, give it a couple of hits with Roundup. I would recommend doing it three, four, five times. Matt across the road, um, he's got a Kai Q lawn. He did it three or four times in this little area that he's got a fire pit and stuff set up now, and it just kept coming back. So I would honestly, yeah, get a turf cutter in if you can. Um, then put your new topsoil down. I'd aim for 100 mil and then lay it down on top of that as well. That was, That's what I would personally do. Chris Prince, it's an omen. Pick up that guitar and sing Purple Rain with that stage lighting. <laughs> it's a good idea, Kev, but that guitar's got a broken string. That's why I put, put it there. Because <laughs> I haven't changed the string yet. Um, which I need to do, actually. 
Nathan Robinson, once you clean your pen, once you clean your pen from all your slobber, can I have it? <laughs> Not this one, man. I got this for my 21st birthday. This is a, um, a, um, what are they, Parker? It's a Parker pen, so I can't give you that one. <laughs> That's funny, though. Oh, dear. That is classic. You're a legend. Thanks, man. Thanks for the super, super chats, too, guys. It's so good. Um, all right, we're going to give this another five minutes, and then we're going to wrap it up, because I need to get into the members' live stream. Um, which is just going to be really small and you guys can ask a lot more questions and I won't miss them like I do in this. Sorry about it. Sorry that I'm missing some. Um, but Lance, five more minutes, a couple more questions and then we'll get into it. Who's watching the kids? The kids are asleep. The kids went to bed at, believe it or not, our kids go to sleep pretty early, about six o'clock. They love their sleep, which is, you know, pretty, pretty blessed. Night mo. I'm going to do a night mo with the swarmer at some point. 100%. Results, not excuses. Kev, you come over, mate, and play some ukulele or something. Uh, it, I'm pretty sure the G-string did break, actually. Uh, no, it's a D-string. G-string. <laughs> Thanks for the tips and giveaway, no worries. William Johnson, anytime, brother. All right. Um... Edwin Milton, thanks, ma'am, for becoming a member. Ledge, I can see on here when you become a member. That's awesome. Thanks, dude. Long tips, how can you join the members' live stream? Wilson, so what you do, man, is... Uh, boom, come over here. You hit the join button just here. Join. Then you become a member. Hit join there. And then the live stream will come up not long after this stream here. Um, I'll just start a fresh one. That's how we're going to roll with it. All right. A couple more questions. Make sure you at Lawn Tips Me. Um, otherwise, I'm probably not going to see it. And then we'll wrap it up, okay? When are you going to give a Mow Master a crack? Oh, man. I don't know. I haven't really looked at getting one, to be honest. I wouldn't mind trying one of those bad boys out. They look pretty solid. look pretty solid. But, I mean, I can't, how many mowers can you house in, like, one area? I guess if they sent me one to trial... It'd be cool to do a bit of a review on it. <clears throat> all right, let me get the comments window up properly so I can see it. Um, all right, Robert Reedman. Reedman. Do you ever feel like mowing or edging the neighbours to the left of your house? Yeah, what well, my wife says all the time, why don't I do that? I really should. I think sometimes when you're just in the zone, you just don't think about it, to be honest. I should do it. I actually offered to mow that section for them ages ago. Maybe I should just turn that into my whole lawn. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. The only issue is then I have to move the sprinklers across, which then it becomes an issue with whose um, property is on, blah, blah, blah. If they move out, someone else moves in. I don't know. It's a bit confusing. I should just start mowing it, though, with the rotary for them, just because my water's flicking over there and my fertiliser and sometimes my seed, and they're getting heaps of growth on that little patch. Uh, Bubba. What up, man? Um, too much urea on Buffalo on Saturday. Oh, no. Um... Water it, bro. Water it as much as you can. Try to push as much of that nitrogen in as you can. Um, hopefully it'll come back. Hopefully it's just burnt it a bit and it'll come back and you haven't overdone it. Urea is a hard one. That's why in that video I titled it Don't Try This At Home because urea can be scary stuff if you put too much down or you don't water it in quick enough. Um, med medox? Medox? I don't know. Um, if you need to raise the ground a fair bit around the foundation of the house... Can I add soil and more turf on top? I mean, you could, man. 100%. You definitely could. Um, I mean, I'd try and get rid of some of the dead turf you get there. If you, with, if you get a rotary hoe, you dig it out a bit and then put some more turf in. I mean, you can do it for sure, especially if you can make it blend in well. Why not? Not a bad idea. Robin Susie Costello. I'm seeding cooch in my nature strip in November. Do you recommend a lawn seed blend or straight La Prima cooch? It really comes down to personal preference again. Um... <clears throat> La Prima's nice, like I know they've used it on a few sports fields in the past, um, but yeah, you can use whatever you like, I mean, you could use some Princess 77, you could use some stuff from Bunnings if you really wanted to, it depends on what look you want, um, La Prima's going to be like a bit of a finer left cooch, more of a hybrid cooch, um, so is your Princess 77, um, yeah, but if you want cooch, if it was me, I'd be going like, you know, Probably a straight cultivar, so you got something that looks nice and uniform. That's just a personal thing that I like, though. Peter Kennedy, can I have a shout-out, please? It's my dream. 
dream come true. We're doing everything tonight. Um, I don't have the join button on my iPad. iPad. What would that be? I don't know, man. You might have to go on a PC or something. That's a bummer. Or maybe do it in browser. Might have to do it in a browser instead of doing it on the YouTube app. That might be why you can't see it, Wilson. All right, two more minutes, and then we're going to wrap it up it up. Do you rate the teasing brush on the Protea? Um, I took it off because it was digging into my turf too much um, because I was cutting so low. I mean, if you were if you set it really just to nick the turf canopy, it would be great. You just need to make sure you're, you're probably cutting around about five, six mil. Oh, I'm no higher than that with the Protea because they don't cut too low. I'll probably be cutting around eight to 10 mil and just making sure that brush is just nicking and teasing the top. It'll be sort of like grooming to an extent. We used to have it on the bowling green um, on the golf course that when we used to, we had a bowling green there and we'd use it sometimes to get some more growth going sideways in areas and it did work. The teasing brush was great. So yes, if you use it right. Lunchtime, must be, always lunch. All right, one more question and then I'm gonna wrap it up. Sorry guys. Shmezaman, <laughs> you pronounce it? <laughs> Thanks for becoming a member, man. Legend. Can you do a program on Buffalo, Ben? I have got a lawn program, if that's what you're talking about, Marcus. Otherwise, do you mean videos? I'm hoping to do videos on Buffalo in the future. It's hard to find Buffalo here in Orange, to be honest. You should start a Facebook group with all these questions members could answer. Yeah, I could. Um, there's the Fanatics page, though. I feel like there's too many lawn groups at the moment. I feel like if I did one, it would just be overkill, to be honest. Um... Am I a banjo? Is that going to say Patterson? Um, banjo Patterson has a house in my area, actually, but I'm, I, I like his stuff, but I don't really. I'm not a fanboy. <laughs> that answers your question. <laughs> you can join via the chat. Hit the dollar sign button. There you go. I didn't know that. Someone just said that for members. Oh, botanical name for perennial rye. What is it? Lorem. Something, something. I can't remember what it is now off the top of my head. Um, Google it, bruh. <laughs> Wilson, you're just trying to catch me out, mate. Yeah, there's a lot of pages, yeah. Thanks, Harry. I agree. There's a lot of pages out there. If I did one, I think it would just be a little bit of overkill. Um, all right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Thanks for chucking in for the, um, answering the questions to, for that merch as well to win it. Congrats to the guys that won all that stuff. I'll do another live stream, maybe in two weeks, maybe in a month. We'll see how things go, how the schedule is going. But I'll definitely be doing one before spring hits. So we'll do like a little pre-spring live stream on top of that. Um, if you guys have any further questions, always there to email me. It will take me a little while to get back to you, though. If you're not um, someone that's paying me, I always put those guys first. But I am always happy to answer some questions for you guys, some quick little questions if needed. Always happy to have a chat. But yeah, it may take a couple of days just for me to get back to you just while I'm processing, I mean, getting through the emails. But yeah, good to see you all. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I'm going to start this members live stream now. So if you guys want to join the members live stream, hit the dollar sign on this chat or I'll see you guys in the next, um, next live stream for everybody. Yeah. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. So yes. Bye.